And there's one more thing, Rafi. You make sure my funeral isn't in the synagogue. No. No, I don't go to a synagogue now. Why should I go when I'm there? Don't listen to the Nagels. You make sure. I will make sure. And I want to be cremated. I would have no. thought. I want to be burnt like my mother. My ass. You bury me with your father. You understand. I understand. That's what we'll do. Some of my earliest memories of my parents are of them at the dining table. My father with a pen and pad and documents, later on a typewriter, immersed. It's only now that I know he was making a claim against the German government for compensation for the suffering of my mother during the war. Carbon copies of everything, filed away, meticulous. In 1954, 1958, 1965, 11 years recording the horrors as my mother recalled them. When I was younger, Auschwitz, the Holocaust, just words. I, I understood, but I didn't understand. When Rosa Falk was a child in Sosnovic, southern Poland, her father was captured by the SS and Gestapo, trying to arrange the escape of Rosa and her mother from the Shrodjula, Shrodjula Jewish ghetto. A few days later, two Gestapo men came to the ghetto and they collected Rosa and her mother and took them to the Sznostovic Gestapo headquarters. Her father was brought into the room very badly beaten and her mother could not bear to look at her back then. And turned away, 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 but an officer grabbed her by the hair and they were both for me to watch as her father. Her father was shot dead in front of her. As a child in Auschwitz, Rosa suffered constantly from typhoid, dysentery, starvation. Her mother developed frostbite in her foot and it became infected. And although Rosa tried to help her stand, she collapsed into the snow and at all all four. While on the ground, she was beaten with a lash in order to stand, but she could not. Rosa's mother was carried to the camp surgery, and her foot was amputated without anesthetic. Without anesthetic. She died soon after, and her body was burned. Shut up.